Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is a sort of walkthrough for an exercise from Zed Shaw's Learn Python the Hard Way. If you go to learnpythonthehardway.org, you will be able to read his text. You go to read the free HTML online. If you click on that, it takes you to the table of contents. And in this video, we're taking a look at exercise 27, which is called Memorizing Logic. And if you click on that, it takes you to this page. Now, I said sort of a walkthrough a moment ago, and the reason for that is there's actually um, nothing to type here. We're not going to use the terminal. We're not going to use uh, Text Wrangler or Notepad++. This is about sort of memorizing some of the principles of logic. Now, the deal is this. Um, logic allows you to do tests that say, for instance, do this when this condition occurs. So when this is equal to this, start over, or if it exceeds this, stop. And those are really useful for gauging processes. And you use them with logical tests. Um, and logic in this case means something that is either true or false. That's what we got right here. True or false. And it's also called a truth test or the truth terms. And we're going to be using a few different operations here, and or not. And then you know, I'm going to make this bigger here. There we go. Let me just save for a moment. We're also going to use um, the exclamation mark and equals is equal to not equal. See, that's one right there. Two equal signs together mean is this equal to this or when this is equal to this. We have greater than equal, less than equal, and then the terms true and false, which are actually sort of system keywords. And when you use them, you don't have to put quotes around them because it recognizes them as, as what they mean. Anyhow, Here's the thing you need to know. Uh, first off, this stuff is sort of invisible. You need to know that if something is not false, then it's then the result of that is true. And if something is not true, then the result of that test is false. This next one here is about or. And the idea is you have two conditions, and if either one of them is true, then the result is true. So, you know, it's like, let me know. If this person is over five six, or if they're left-handed, either one of them works. So if it's true or false, well, one of those is true. If it's true or true, of course, that gets true. False or true, well, there's a true in there. So that gets you a true result. And that means trigger the thing that we're gonna do. So if either of these conditions is met. On the other hand, if both of the conditions are false, then the result is false and, and the condition doesn't trigger. This next one here, is and, and this means that both of them have to be true as conjunction test. And so the only thing that works in this case is when you have true and true. Both conditions must be true. If either one of them or both of them is false, then it doesn't carry through, it does not trigger the response. And so you can see that here. Here we have uh, not or. So it's really just the opposite of the or above. And so you see, for instance, here under or, we have true, 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 false. Here we have false, 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 true. And really what you do is you first do the or and then you just flip it around. And so this or this, and yeah, one of them's true, but you flip it to not, so it becomes false. You know, I've never I've never really used the not or in this way. Not and is just the uh, the inverse of the and statements. And so you look at, for instance, for an and, if you have two conditions and they both have to be true, the only one that's going to be true is when you have true and true. And again, it's going to be when the variable x is over 12 and the variable y is equal to zero. And that sort of stuff happens. And if both of them are true, then it triggers the response. That's what's going on here. But in this case, it the not flips it around. A little weird. Okay, this one shows up occasionally, and it is the not equals to. And so, for instance, the question here is one not equal to zero. Well, correct, one and zero are different numbers, so it's true that they are not equal. One not equal to one? No, they are equal, so the, the question of whether they're not equal is false. And I think you can follow the logic there. And then down here at the bottom, this is equals, but it's, it's, it's the logic, it's the logical equality. And so it's asking if these two numbers are equal to each other. Is one equal to zero? No. It's one equal to one? Yes. And so forth and so on. Anyhow, all you got to do is learn how to memorize these. And you think about them in terms, again, um, that your program's going to do something like um, 
advance to the next uh, step once either more than 10 seconds have passed or a person clicks the, uh, clicks the mouse. And so that can be these two different conditions. If either one of those is true, advance. Or it might be something the person has to have been there for at least 10 seconds and they click the mouse. That's an and. And so this is a way of deciding when you're going to trigger a response or get out of a loop or something like that. So you do use these conditions a lot. And so just spend a little bit of time trying to work these out. Also, feel free to get on Google and search up examples of when you use these Boolean operators in programming. Anyhow, you'll see some examples pretty soon, and I hope to see you again.